Hi there, and welcome to Elki Art. My name is Lori Elki, and I love sharing video tutorials with you, uh, along with my children a lot of the times, on how to do fun art projects, drawing, and painting. So check out my channel if you haven't. We have all kinds of fun activities to do. Today, I wanted to show you how to make these fun paper lizards. How adorable are these guys? So we are going to be cutting and gluing some paper and decorating. You can see the green one even has some spots to make these fun little paper lizards. Now, I also have a tutorial on my channel on making a fish that's in a very similar style as the lizard. So it's just a little bit different. So if you really like this and you wanna try the fish, check that video out as well. But today we are gonna be working with my little friend here to create this fun lizard tutorial. So follow along and see if you can make an adorable lizard as well. All right, for this project, we need a couple different things. We need a large piece of construction paper. Now I'm gonna use this, this is 12 by 18. If you don't have a piece this big at home, you can make these smaller. But I'm gonna go big and bold just so you can see. And then we're also gonna be using a smaller piece of construction paper. This is the 12, nine by 12. And then I'll have a couple of scrap pieces for details. And I will be using some markers to add some patterns or designs on my lizard. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my big long green piece of paper and I'm going to fold it in half the long way. Make a nice crease down the middle. Then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut from one corner diagonally to the other corner. Now, if you wanna get a ruler and if you wanna make a perfectly straight line, you can. I'm a fan of just eyeballing it. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. I have to start at one corner and get up diagonally to the other corner. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and cut in a diagonal line the best that I can to the other corner. Now you can see my diagonal line is a little bit curved even, but it doesn't really matter. I want it so that I have a triangular type shape when I open up my paper. I do have some scraps here. I'm just gonna set those aside in case I wanna use those later. I'm working now with my triangular shape, okay. Now, this edge right here needs to be right in the, along the center fold line. So I'm gonna fold this in so that it matches up with my center line like that. And it gets kind of tricky at the end here because there's not much paper to work with, but do your best to get a nice fold like this. It almost looks like you're folding a paper airplane. I'm gonna do that on one side, like this, and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So folding it in so that it matches up with the center fold of my paper. Now you can see because mine was curved, like it doesn't fold perfectly, and that's not a big deal. Um, as long as the majority of it can kind of match up with that middle line, okay? Now I'm gonna turn this over and this part right here is gonna be the back of my lizard. So this is the part that I'm gonna decorate. So think about what you might want on your lizard. Maybe you want it to be a spotted lizard or a striped lizard or have zigzags on it, but go ahead and decorate this entire back of your lizard using markers or crayons or colored pencils. Now, if at any time you need to pause the video because I'm going too fast or you need to catch up, please feel free to do that. That's the nice thing about video tutorials. 
All right, you can see that I have decorated the back of my lizard. I just added circles and polka dots and little wiggly lines to make an interesting back pattern to my lizard. Now I'm gonna flip my lizard over and I'm gonna open it up like this and I'm gonna fold it along the center line. This is the first line that we made. I'm gonna fold it in half like this. So that now I've got a triangle that has half of the pattern and then half blank on both sides, okay? And next I'm going to cut along my triangle. So I'm gonna put the pattern side on the bottom and the blank side on the top and I'm gonna hold my scissors up and down and I'm just gonna start cutting until I get to that line right in the middle of my lizard. And I wanna make sure to cut all the way to my line. So I'm going up and cutting all the way up to that line. And you can see my cuts are a little bit fatter than like a finger width apart. I'm gonna keep cutting, 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 cutting. Now, once I finished cutting, and notice I made sure to stop before I got to the tail, so that I didn't accidentally cut the tail off. Um, I'm gonna open my lizard back up and I'm gonna glue the lizard together. Now, each of these flaps that doesn't have a pattern on them are gonna fold in like this so that I have the triangular shape here of my lizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue just on one side of my flap here and then I'm gonna fold them in, overlapping one on top of the other to create my lizard shape. So I'm just gonna take my glue and I'm gonna put it on the inside of my flap so that I can glue the two pieces together. Remember, these are the two pieces that don't have any design on them. I'm folding them in like this making sure they line up, and then I'm pushing down the glue. Now, if you need to, you can kind of stick your fingers in between some of your cut pieces here to help push down the pieces that we're gluing so that your lizard can be all connected here with the glue. Make sure to get that all pushed down. And you can see, now that that's glued, we've got this nice, lizardy shape going on. It bends and moves just like the lizard would. All right, now before I finish with this piece, I'm going to cut off this first um, part of my lizard. That's gonna give us a little bit of space for our head to go. So I just cut off this top part, but I left the bottom so you can see that. And now we're gonna add some details. So I'm gonna start by adding a head to the lizard because right now he doesn't have one. And to do that, I'm gonna take my orange paper and I'm gonna fold it in half like this. And then on the folded side, so this is open, this is the folded side, I'm going to measure the width of my lizard and I'm gonna make a little mark so I can see how wide my lizard is. So here's the width of my lizard. And notice I'm just gonna make a little mark right here so I can see about how wide it is. And then I'm going to cut my paper by that mark. And I'm gonna make kind of like a U shape or a rainbow shape. So starting right here, I'm gonna cut straight up first. So I've got a nice fat base here, and then I need to make a curved top. So I'm gonna curve the top like a rainbow, like that. So I took that out of my folded paper, and now I've got this little section here 
that opens and closes. That's gonna be the, for the lizard's mouth. I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna attach that to my lizard by sticking some glue right here on this flap that I left by cutting off that extra piece. So I'm gonna put a bunch of glue down right there. See, I've got some glue there. And I'm gonna go ahead and stick my lizard's head right on top of that piece, like so. So that now my lizard has a mouth that opens and closes. Now, if you wanted to, you could leave this as a snake and you won't, don't add any legs and just add the eyes and the tongue and voila, you've got a little snake too. So that's another option. But I'm gonna show you the rest of the lizard. So my mouth needs some eyes and a tongue. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I've got some white paper. I have just folded it in half. You can see I've used it before for this. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out some circles when it's folded in half so that I get two eyes that are the same size and shape. Got my two circles like this. I'm gonna go ahead and glue them so that they hang off of the face just a little bit. So here's the face. And I'm gonna stick them so that they're kind of hanging off the side of the face, just a little bit like that. So there's one. I'll put some glue on my second one here. And I'll attach it to the other side like that. There's my second one. And then I'll just use a marker to add little dots for the eyes. So there's one little eye and you can make it as big or as small as you want. Maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger. And then another little eye right here. And then I'm gonna make two little marks for the nose too. Just one little mark right there and one little mark right there for the nose. And then we need a lizard tongue. So for the tongue, I'm going to use my scissors and cut out um, from this red piece of paper. It doesn't have to be red, you can make it whatever color. I'm gonna cut a really long strip that goes out and makes a triangle at the end. Like that. And then I'm gonna make this look like almost like a fork for the lizard's tongue, like that. I'm gonna throw some glue just on the end of the tongue and then attach it to the inside of the lizard's mouth, like that. Now, if you wanted to, you could get really crazy and make this a super long tongue or you could curl it. I had one kid in my class who put a little fly on the end of the tongue to make it look like the lizard had caught some lunch too. So that's a fun option as well. So there you've got, this could be a snake. This could be the end right here, a little snake. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make some lizardy legs. So I'm gonna go back to my orange paper. It's still folded in half. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half again so that I've got a section of paper that is all equal here on all sides. There's actually four pieces, so one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight up and then turn to the side. I'm making like a pipe, so I'm gonna cut straight up again and turn to the side so it looks like a little tunnel or a tube or a pipe and then i'm going to add little fingers to my cuts so i'm going to go out and in out and in out and in and back together here. So you can see I've got this nice little shape and I still need to trim the top just a little bit so that I've got four legs that are all the same. And I'm gonna go ahead and take each leg and throw some glue on the bottom 
and attach it to my lizard. So here's the bottom of my lizard and I'm gonna have one going this way like that and I'll have one going on the other side the same way like that and then I'll have two going down away from the head one right here and let's see this one's gonna go right here you have to kind of hold your leg up to where you're gonna put it to make sure you put glue on the right side of your leg so you can see there's my four legs attached to the bottom of my lizard so from the top it looks very lizard like and there you have it guys a fun paper lizard you can do these in all kinds of different shapes and colors. I've got the green one. I've got this yellow and orange one. You can do all kinds of fun patterns. But yeah, have fun with this. This is a super fun project and I hope you enjoy making it. That's all for now. I hope to see you guys again soon. Please hit that like button if you like this video and subscribe down below. Thanks for watching guys.